and we might see some Druid versus Warlock. But is it is it Zoo? It's Zoo. It's Zoo. So this matchup could get extremely interesting again. Oh, Carlos kept it's his even Zoo with Harvest Golem. So it's beefy Zoo. Yeah. But Carlos, he kept his innervate, but he dropped his swipe. That's interesting. Like he probably expects a hand lock. Well, there's a zoo lock incoming, and <laughs> not only zoo lock, a turn two zoo lock. Like he goes second, and flame that's flame priestess. Yeah, that's so annoying. I mean, flame and priestess. Well, we have Raz innovate hero ability, so he could exactly kill flame and priestess if he if he wants to. I'm I'm just pointing it out. That's crazy to do. Uh, the strong thing is. He has an abusive sergeant, so he can just kill away a yeti. If he innervates out a yeti, he might abusive sergeant his flame him to kill a yeti. For example, it's just it's just extremely good for him in the end. Do you think he's gonna innervate out the yeti? Oh, either he innervates out the yeti, or he goes wrath innervate hero ability, <laughs> or he oh. goes wrath. The the main problem with wrath innervate hero ability is you don't have a follow up move. So yep. if you go innervate yeti, you can next turn go wrath. But if you do it the other way around, you cannot next turn go Yeti. And that's why it's better to do it this way. Oh, that's tough. I mean, you, you can you can go Direwolf Alpha and Soulfire run in your Young Priestess, for example. Or you just go Abusive Sergeant, kill off the Yeti. But that's like that's a like, rough choice here. Go go abusive. I'd say. And he can he cannot kill two one two two one minions, especially because one of your two one minions will be a two two minion. Uh, the, the reason why I say go that play is that it's kinda hard for Carlis to get rid of both minions, so you will get value from your direwolf alpha. But you said direwolf alpha, you mean abusive sergeant. Ah, you mean next turn from your direwolf exactly, alpha. Exactly, I was just one you, turn you, ahead you, of you. You were just going crazy. The, the good thing is, especially if he goes this, he's going turn three direwolf alpha, turn four defend of Argus, and he also still has a soul fire to kill something off. Yep. So it looks good for him, and well, he, he can hero ability away the 2-1 now, but that would have happened anyway. I think he will Solness and just go... Nothing. That would be stupid because he has no coin. Yeah. Damage. Uh, you wanted to say it's all so one coin. one damage rest to draw something, but nope, that's not going to happen. Of course, just hero ability. Yeah, that, that would be stupid as you quoted before. He needs to kill the priestess, or that priestess just gets out of control. It buffs more and more and more and more, and you just yeah gets ahead of you. Knife juggler is awesome. I mean, it will get rest. Let's let's not get d disillusional here. Still. Plays it, it baits the rest out. Well, not baits, but it gets the rest out. Well, Keeper of the Grove. So, wow, this is just way, way better. better for Carlos. I mean, he, he just killed off the 3 2 easy mode. And he still has a Salmus Wrath. But w we got Soul Fire, so that 2 4 is going to die. And But Carlos has a Black Knight against Defend of Argus. If there's even a Defend of Argus, I mean, he, he can play Direwolf Alpha, Soul Fire. And he needs. Oh, I I guess I he should drain HP to get another card. The, the thing is, he's going to lose his defense of Argus, and you don't want to lose it. No, you just that just hurts. Especially he has no follow up move. This is just super annoying. The Druid of the Claw even so big Tonder if he wants to, or just ras away the two two and draw a card. There's some plays Carlos can do here. I think get rid of the two two. Well, I would maybe say just taunt up your, like get a gi get a giant for six minion. What did he want to do? He just used the soul fire. He needs another soul fire to get rid of that minion. If he's not getting a doom guard, well, there's shadowed sun. What what does he want to do now? Buff up his uh, three two. So yeah. He gets buff up the three two and trade in. Yeah, and then you're left with a two two and a three two. Yeah. And uh, that sucks. Well, you have no other options. Correct, but that doesn't make it better. You <laughs> clear the board. <laughs> Still sucks. The good thing is, if you do this play, you have no Voidwalker out that can get Black Knighted. So that's that's yeah, the yeah. value. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a good minion. It's a two three minion at the moment. If you black, I would Black Knight it just right of off the course, spot. Of course, against uh, what else are you going to Black Knight against the uh, Zulok? 
Yeah, uh, I, I would say it looks good for Carlos because there are no hand cards for Elia left except one. But as we know, this just means nothing for Dulok. I mean, he could draw potentially one minion he can play plus another minion life tapped and drop three minions on the board next turn. And then you're just totally screwed and you're shedding some tears and you're going super sad. Yes, no taunts. At the moment. Well, there is a scenario on the end, of course, with the two trains that will come turn nine. But it's still three turns to go. Would you hit the minion to maybe kill it with Selnus? Mm, no. I mean, he, he wants to trade with Selnus next turn mm. Uh, mm. because he fears the power swipe. And now you're taking three damage. Maybe unnecessary. But uh, it, it feels okay doing though. Well, Shadow Sound, <laughs> this, is, this is just perfect. You can, we, we, we were talking about it. He can drop Shattered Sound plus Void Walker, but he should, he should, well, he can deal four damage, but he sh kind of should kill Salness. Yeah, you should play the, uh, this This is hard. I, I would buff my Shattered and then go for the face. Play the, play the Void Walker. If Carlos has a swipe, he wins the game. But if not, you drop him low. Like really low. Yeah, but this is this is a coin flip we were talking about. If he has it, yes. If he has it, no. It's really risky. You get a three-two and you get a four-two and the three-two minion out. If there is really that one swipe, you just you're just getting melted away. And not only a little bit, you're just getting melted big time. At least we have some black knight value. <laughs> if he if he wants to do it, I would maybe heal myself up with an. Ancient of Lore. Already? I mean, yes. Oh, well, yeah. The pro If you draw cards, yay. But you're you're a druid. You can play one minute, one minion per turn. Tops a swipe. But yeah, you're down to fourteen. You're just too close to die here. Maybe draw a card first with Salness. But but then you lose your power swipe. You lose your power swipe, but you get some options. Definitely heal yourself up. Everything else is just crazy. I think just keep the Selnus like you did. But there's seven, eight damage on the board. Plus a Dark Iron Dwarf, so it could be seven, nine damage from the left minions. I think he's just gonna start just really mashing him. Throw everything on the board. Now the, the, this this time Void Walker absolutely the one one. Like he, he yeah, needs Yeah, the Selnus. Yeah. Yeah, but like I wouldn't have traded the Well it's away. it's a it's a safer way. Uh, I think it's okay. It's not perfect. It's just okay. It makes your board cl uh, safer. But you get now a 4-2, a 1-2, a 4-4, and a 1-1 against you. And you just have nothing in your hand. I mean, you, you can. You can. There's a Black Knight value. And you can rest away the 4-2. That's Still good. Still take 5 damage next turn. Yeah, uh, 5 damage. And if there's a Doomguard incoming, you're going to take 10. But I'm next turn, he has the scenarios. Which is good. That's good. Still, th some Doom Guard is just ridiculous. So, but Elia needs something. Like, well, so far that's good. the pr The problem is you need to drop your Amani, uh, for example, yep. then Soul Fire before you life tap. But it's fine. Like if he if he what if well he goes for the face and then just gets a Leroy, he would be really strong next turn. Uh. Well, he clears the board. That's Still also fine. Like he just doesn't want any taunts against him. The good thing, if you kill the minion, you just rob him the opportunity to kill your 4-4. And now he needs a swipe, and he doesn't want to swipe. It. We said it. We said it often. If there is a money berserker on the, yeah, you, if you swipe, you, you just get you, just, yeah, sad face OP. <laughs> I mean, sad they, face they, this time you could swipe and keeper of the grove to kill the money berserker, but before that, yeah, if you just have a swipe, you're screwed, and you, you're giving him a 5-2 minion. Would you go for, for Keeper now, or rather go Scenarius with Double Taunt Up? The problem with Scenarius and Double Taunt Up is... The he, Berserker? He, no, he potentially could play two minions next turn, and if they hit perfect, he just hits away one Taunter, kills the other Taunter, and then he's good to go for your face. So those two Taunters might... like they, They're not going to use you anything. The problem is, how much damage does he have on the board? Ten, right now. Yeah. So if you heal up yourself... It's not going to help a lot. Well, you're, you're up to 16. Heal yourself, use your hero ability, kill kill the 1-1. One, one. Kill Squire. So you're at 16 HP. He has 9 damage on the board. 
You would survive a Doom Guard, but you wouldn't survive. Uh, I don't know. If you use Sergeant Doom Guard, for example, combo. Correct. I feel like Keeper of the Grove, Hero Ability, Kill the 1 1. You're on 12 HP. Well, you're on 11 HP, and there's only 6 damage left on the board. That would feel good. I, I'm just I, I'm slightly not sure about that play, but it all comes down to what Elias drawing here. But it feels for me uh, there's oh. one abuser sergeant. So okay, that's the squire, in my opinion. Uh, that's a squire. Uh, I would life tap first. Yeah. Um, even if you well, get a doom guard, you can play both. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. There's wow. a doom guard. You, he you would have lost with the play I just said. Um, still, if he, if you buff up. You're six six. Uh, you're four four. For example, it, does he have lethal regardless? If he buffs up his four four kills uh, and one ping hits uh, one of the trees, it would even do more damage. That's what I'm saying. If he buffs up the four four and one ping hits yeah. one tree, he could have killed it with the, his two three and with his one one. And I in the end, he, he would have felt well, well, well. He could still. He Get still he still has enough. I mean, he just yeah. trades and there's enough damage. But I was I was just yeah. hoping for for the the super the super crazy play to get that slight more damage off. He wins here in the end. I mean, that's one zero for Elia versus Carlos and well, Carlos. Carlos, that is, and the rogue. Are we going to see warlock versus warlock? <laughs> fire with fire. Well, we don't know what sort of warlock it is. But, uh, yeah, I think it should be Wallach. Well, we are just going to start those fights over. And Corbin is going to jump back to the casters since... Uh, now, Kai we now we can jump right in. Uh, since Kai just started the wrong file. But no, I just didn't drop in a new one. Uh, everything is ready. We can we can start now again. No, no problem, Reno. Pass to Reno. And we see... It's a Miracle Rogue. Versus the Dulok. And this is this is interesting. Zulok is good against Murka Rogue, but Murka Rogue is good against Zulok. Yeah, it really def depends if the if the Rogue gets the Blade Flurry or not. And if and he gets also the Fan of Knives. Yeah, not uh, not only that, <coughs> Coin as I seven agent, Backstep as I seven agent. Those are really the plays you're looking for. Ooh, Kalis already has a Backstep, and of course Bloodmaster Solus. Blood, Blood Mage. <laughs> Blood ma he's a master. Blood Master Saldos. I was like, <laughs> man, that's a really awesome name. I gotta get that card. <laughs> Damn. The good thing for Carlos is he's going se first, uh, like second. So, again, he's yeah. going second. He has a coin and he can get his weapon out instantly. And, and Saldos backs up, as you said. So, we might see Amani Berserker, but who cares Amani Berserker if you can just Saldos backstab it in the face? Yeah, and he also has the Earthen Ring Farseer. Really, really good against Rush decks. And he doesn't even need to go sell this backstab, which is better in my opinion. He could also go for deadly poison, but nah. that that's a waste. Yeah, it's definitely a waste. Oh, I think I would have kept my weapon. You you would have kept your weapon. Yeah, next turn he. Yeah, I would. Okay. You wouldn't. Not necessarily. Why not? Are you touching me? No, I was just touching your keyboard to make everything run perfectly. <laughs> My so gesture. You said you said you wanted to keep your weapon. Um, I still I was just confused by making the files run s like Fine. same speed, same time. So yes, I would have used my weapon, nevertheless. So there's no there's no reason in keeping. Uh, you you want to make the next weapon with deadly poison, so just use it now. You don't have any other follow up moves, so you could play Urzan Ring, but yep. Yeah, I, d I just think you would never... Oh, this is just cool. I, mean, I just wanna don't, don't want to miss that move. He can he can play, actually, Flame Imp plus Defender, everything. But we see the Blade Flurry just waiting. So, yeah. He he could have played the Sheep Arrow also if he didn't drain. Oh, nice. He's going to Blade Flurry and just equip a new weapon. Well, he can equip a new weapon, but he wants to get the Assassin's Blade. I was I was not sure if you wanted to say he can Blade Fury and play the Assassin's Blade. What? And I was like, <laughs> what? Matter. There is this is madness. No, yeah, I agree here with you. I guess the Blade Fury is the better play here. The funny thing is, you might get five damage from the Doom Guard next turn if if he actually goes for Doom Guard. No, it's um, not. Well, he if he gets one dummy card like let's say another Cheat Bearer, it would be worse. Taking the risk of just losing both shield bearers, but he could shield bearer defender. 
Yeah, you should. You, you and then next turn, he can abuse the sergeant something and go for his tomb god. I think that's way, way better. Yeah, you, you get a, at least more minions out, as you say. Um, if he had, if he had gotten another shield bearer, I, I would have, I would have just dropped Doomguard and hope those dummies drop out. But the annoying thing would have been sap for the Doomguard, so you're getting it back in your hand, and you're just like, "Damn it, I'm screwed." Yeah, Assassin's Blade. Just take the one damage. Well, take take the one damage. The, the most annoying thing is you're still not getting past it, and you're losing your stacks. On yeah. the weapon, I mean, you get only three durability left, and you get another defend of Argus. Okay, you're not going to play <laughs> your Doom Guard now. This is just madness. I mean, another defend of Argus followed up by the, by the. Uh, you would have considered buffing him up to to make him fan of nice proof. No. I would have actually considered drawing card. Ah, uh, drawing a card instead of dropping him. It's risky because if you get a soul fire. It's kind of meh, or your second Doom Guard, because you want to play your Doom Guard as soon mm -hmm. as possible. You hope that you get a one or two drop next turn. That's obvious. Yeah, I I know what you mean. But yeah. you would get more options. You you don't necessarily need them. So I think his play was correct. The play was good. I agree with you. Maybe one card more just shows you what you can do optional. But he he just wanted to draw get his hand low to only lose one card when he doom guards next turn and he will doom guard next turn. Yeah. And I mean, what can Carlos do against this? He has a backstab, and he has a sap, so uh, he he could he could kill the two three sap the three four play his Urzan ring. The problem here. is if you sap the three four, he's gonna buff the other minions again. Yeah, it just feels like you you wanna sap the three four. Just because it's a three four and it's in your way, but as you say, it's it's just gonna hurt yourself so much. But what are you, what are you going to sap? Like you could sap the shield bearer, but it's coming back as an O four minion, and you cannot get past it. And if it, it for me, it feels like you need to sap here, or you're getting screwed overall. Maybe he wants to wait for the doom. Oh, oh this is so stupid. You you do want to doom guard, but you don't want to drop your dark iron dwarf. It's just too strong. I mean, it's plus two damage. And you can the the good thing about Doomguard is you can always play it and it's always five I, I, damage. I would definitely just throw down my Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't life tap. You wouldn't life tap. You're in twenty. <laughs> you got a one taunter. Mm, I'm not sure if I would life tap here, but as you say, life tapping and you get only more the, cards. You Doomguard away. The problem is if you life tap, you go down to. Mm -hmm to 18 18 and then eight mana and a prep with sap five cards you're screwed yeah you're screwed es especially i mean what what do you want to draw you could get a flame imp but you already played one you could get an arts and squire you already played one you could get a young priestess but you kind of needed a run drop to drop it instantly and that's just too much risk to take it's just the abusive sergeant that would have value yeah w there's a lira in his hand Leroy, Cold he Blood, Shadows, 19 damage. See? Yeah, he can he well, can uh, deal. Well, he had to kill the. It's not 19. He had to kill the thing first. Hey, you kind of should sab that minion to to win the next game. I mean, Carlos has a crazy hand. Next turn, it's Leroy, Cold Blood, Leroy, attack with weapon. Wow, it's just so much damage incoming. You can deal 19 damage at the moment. But then one damage short. I, I would set the Dark Iron Dwarf to make myself yeah. kill proof. And attack. But attack with my blade and make a new well, weapon. Oh, he already attacked the... Uh, oh, he already... I, I, was, I wasn't bearer. sure. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't entirely sure. That that happens quite often. And then you look like you're a mofo. <laughs> you just said, oh, you should attack. Chat Liesel. What happened? <laughs> like a mofo. Well, but would you go for the Shield Barrel or the Doom Guard? As you said, you could be close to dying. Uh, I would go for the Shield Barrel. Yeah, she better feel safe. If he if he has another sap, well, that's that's it. I, I would definitely, yeah. But not life tap again. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, you you win next turn at the moment with this board. Yeah, exactly. And Carlos can't win with his hand, so uh, it looks like GG two zero for Elia. Irines might be winning this. Well, he has thirteen damage, but that's about it. Yeah. What does he hope 20. to draw? Like second sap, eviscerate for example, he could at Evis least kill the four four. Would also be good. 
I mean, if he kills the 4-4, four four, he would survive with 1 HP. So he, but but whatever he draws now, that's that's not helping him in any way. And he needed an auctioneer to to draw those cards, maybe get a preparation. Didn't and then get a single prep. Yeah, that turned out to no be just auctioneer. super crappy for Khaled in the end. Oh, well, uh, well, that's the downside of Miracle Row. Yeah, if like you if if you don't get your auctioneer or your like, not your preps, you're screwed. Hundred percent. And well, he's doom guarded at the moment. It's just gonna be nine damage, GG. Elia will win the game, and it's gonna be three one for Everness, and they're gonna take their first win, and not only their first win. I mean, they're going three one. They're, it's not a two two show final showdown. They just crushed innovation. It was convincing. Like two o two o two o. Every single win of them was two o. Although Stixon, we we gotta we gotta throw Stixon out of Everness. He lost his game against Number Guy, or Number Guy is too good. Number guy is just too good. Yeah, number guy is just too good. And he even gets his... Well, he could have done one damage <laughs> more if he played it that way. But he even gets the Direwolf Alpha. So just, just some really convincing win here.